Let it go. All the boots are like whoa. Thing I go. Cause it over. I see. I see. I got a bit of a girl. My name is Jenny. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome back if you're not new. Today we have a lot of things to talk about. Well, not a lot, but I just wanted to show you guys, show you guys a vlog, I guess. Kind of forgot how to do these, but I did Legree this morning and then I also did 12320, which was only on, was only for 20 minutes. So um, I did do that for my workout today. So I did close my rings and my best friend did get me an Apple Watch, the Series 8. So I'm really excited about that for my birthday and I am another year older. I know it's been a while since I've been on my channel, but I do want to come back like for certain just because the holidays are coming up it's like my favorite time of the year and so i'm really excited about that i also am back on my nespresso game because i was not i don't know why i didn't buy nespresso for like a while which it was just so weird like for what reason i don't know for what reason i don't know i just didn't buy them and every time i had the opportunity i was like eh, no it's fine like i'll just order them online so finally i did buy them i haven't gotten a shipping thing or like a tracking thing for it so hopefully it comes soon i haven't been in the mood to like by Starbucks or anything, so it's just been like such a headache. I've been drinking the Trader Joe's cold brew, which is not my favorite. I gotta use it up because I already have it. So anyway, I wanted to do a Lululemon haul as well because I did pick up a few things. So I want to show you guys. I have this full zip. This is in the gray color and it's a full zip. I got medium large for this one as well as all of the other ones because I do have a, this is my small, extra small, and it's very short, which I do really like, but I feel like for more like versatility, I feel like this is not gonna keep me like super warm. So this one, I did wear a lot in the summertime as well, just cause I don't know, I do really like it, but I just felt like, I just felt like if it got cold, then I would need something a little bit warmer. And I really like the full zips because it gives you a little bit more like versatility because you can wear it zipped up, you can wear it like unzipped if you're a little bit too hot. Literally just a gray zip. And then the hoodie, I love the logo on here. I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah there you go so i just love like the logo on the hoodie i was debating on getting like the the regular ones without the um hoodie on them but i didn't i just didn't really like them and i think the hoodie is obviously like if you're a logo mania obviously you know that it's um lululemon so i love that and then i also have a excuse me luna i also got a black one in medium large and this one is also with the hoodie and i was debating on getting this or not because you guys know i do have a luna she is a cat so i was like oh if i get it like the cat hairs are gonna get on it and it was just gonna be annoying which is why i really did not want to get the black one but then i just figured like i got the gray one and i have another color that i'm gonna show you guys in a minute and i was like i'll just get the black one because there were no other colors that i really liked i really hope they come out with more like neutral colors or like just like better greens or better blues because I didn't like the ones that they had. I just got this one. This one is a full zip as well as you can see. I got this one in a medium large because I love the oversized look, especially when I'm just wearing a sports bra and leggings. I just think like it's, I don't know, I just love that look. And then I also have like a lot of Align tinks too. So it, I don't know, I think they just look really nice together. And I didn't buy any defined jackets this season. It might change if they come out with more colors. So I moved on to the scuba knits because they didn't have any other colors that I liked. And then this one, I just, well, my bestie just dropped it off to me yesterday, but she picked it up for me at the store. This one is the khaki color, and this one is a half zip in medium large. And the reason why I got this one in a half zip, it's just because I realized sometimes when I wear the gray one, I was wearing it, I wore it like pretty much all week to my workouts, except for Wednesday. I don't think I really left the house Wednesday. Oh, I did, but I wore, I didn't wear like workout clothes. I don't like how... When it's unzipped, like when I'm wearing my bag, it kind of like lifts up gradually. So then the zipper will be like all the way up here and then my sweater is like all the way behind me. So I do like the half zips because everything just stays in place and it's still really oversized. So these are just like so, so good. They're just my favorite and they're so comfy and cozy. I will say that Abercrombie does have hoodies as well. I think that those are a lot softer. So I wouldn't necessarily say like you need the half zips if you want hoodies because i really like abercrombies as well and they're really really soft when it comes to like aritzia tna i feel like it faded really fast because i do have one um three quarter like half zip like sweater and that one i think i got in a small i think that's in a small and that one just faded really really fast and i washed them the way that i washed my lululemons so 
I don't know, I was kind of like disappointed in that, but yeah, I got the khaki one. Also, I got this tank. This one was actually on the sale rack, but I wanted to show you guys. I got this tank. It's super cute. It's like gray with these like little leopard print. It's super cute. I normally don't like printed stuff, but I love that this had gray on it because it matched like my sweater and it looks really good with blue leggings, which is what I wore them with today for Legree, but this is like dirty, so. And then I also got a pair of Instill HR tights. These are in 25. So these are super, super tight. Like they're not like the Aligns. These are like, they hug your body so tight. And for these ones I did get, I do have another pair of Instill, but I did get them in a size four and they're a little bit too small for me. So I'm thinking like, I might just have to give them away because I do have the jacket that matches with it, but the color is just, I mean, the sizing is just like, I should have gotten a size six. But in my aligns, I get a size four just because they have a little bit of stretch to them. And it's not like, oh, it's not my size. Just like the fit is just different and some are just tighter than others. But I think all in all, because like in Aritzia, I'm a size four. And that has like no stretch to most of their stuff. But anyway, yeah, so these are the instill and they just have the logo in the back. They give a little bit of shape to your butt, which I really like. And they have like a line down the middle. They do have like a really harsh seam down the middle, which I don't know. I don't think I wore my other ones really to know much, but they're a little bit lighter. So I haven't worn them too much, too many times, but I want to see if I can get some use out of these or I might exchange them just for lines because as much as I do really like the Insta and I like that they're really sturdy, I just feel like I get more wear out of lines because they're just so soft. But yeah, so those are... All the things that I got from Lululemon. Oh, I got this lamp for my desk because I'm actually, I'm gonna move my desk back to my room, the bedroom the, over the wall, but I got this lamp for it. I got it on Amazon and it's like really simple and it has like three different colors to it. So I really like that. And then also when I'm doing my nails, I feel like my nails just like, I sometimes I wanna do them at night and I don't have like a lamp, but these are what they look like right now. If you guys can see they're actually pretty long these are my natural nails by the way this one did break because i was packing for portland those are what my nails are looking like i did want to i did purchase a red gel polish so i do want to do them red but i actually kind of like love how they look with like the claws but they're not shaped properly because i don't know i was like kind of scared to shape them because i thought they were gonna break and they are pretty like fragile i want to say like when they get wet especially it's like really really sensitive and you have to be really careful but i don't know it kind of looks dumb with like just this thumb not having anything but i also don't have like fake nails to do them but yeah those are my nails right now it's really simple it's kind of getting hard to do certain things so i actually might cut them or i might just shape them in like an almond but shorter so we'll see what I end up doing with these. I might do that. I might do that tomorrow. I had a workout in the morning, but I think I'm gonna cancel because I feel like I have too many things to do. That is pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. I have some cleaning to do and I need to wash my brushes. So I think I'm gonna do that right now just because uh, I need after I put my sweaters away. But I need to put some things away and then I'm gonna wash my brushes and make something to eat. But that's the plan for now. I just finished making my lunch slash dinner. It's a late lunch because I didn't have lunch. Well, I had my smoothie and then I had like some mandu, but I ate it like later. Anyway, um, so I just made my beef bowl. I didn't show that just because I've showed it so many times. And yeah, I'm just watching like the last episode of the Dahmer like story. That's pretty much it. I got invited to Sushi Zo with some of my girlfriends, but I actually, I didn't really like the omakase the last time I was there. I think I showed you guys, but there's also one in like West LA, so I would have to go over there. But I'm kind of like, I'm really craving Italian food so bad, and I might have a date like on Sunday night, so we might go to Medeo, or we might go to Medeo tomorrow with one of my friends, but I don't know, I'm just like really craving Italian food, so I don't really like want to go out to eat if it's not like what I'm craving. I don't know if that makes sense, but... And then, I don't know, I really wanted to go golf today, but it's like already getting pretty late, so probably won't happen but we'll see we'll see you guys i my place is a mess I came to have dinner at Yakiniku Osen and this is an omakase place and it was pretty good. They have like three options to choose from. They had a lot of uni, a lot of wagyu and beef tartare which was really delicious. This was sweet shrimp and then they also had like a yuzu um, bingsu kind of 
and then they brought some wagyu over to have with wasabi and sea salt which is my favorite way to have it and then they also brought like the wagyu tower and there was like a really good hot pot which was so nice this is like my favorite hot pot in the sweet sauce and then that is just fried rice and it was super delicious i really liked it and i would recommend this place the next day i went to bunda which is my workout and this is like a butt workout so it's really effective really nice I also went to go see my jeweler um, not too long ago, but I just wanted to include this clip because the ring was so beautiful. And then I also looked at other tennis bracelets because I do want to add another one. I've had mine for a few months now and I love the look of it, so I thought I would just add another one, but the other one was a lot smaller, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe stick to the same size. We're starting off with my nails. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut them down. I'm getting super frustrated because... I just feel like really impatient right now and although I love the length of them and I think they're so pretty you can see this one is like slanting a little bit and I just like don't have the patience today so I think I'm actually going to just cut them and then we're gonna start over and I'll just go to my nail girl so she can do it because I feel like although I love doing my nails there are just sometimes where it brings me more like anxiety than like relaxation and I used to be super happy to do my nails but you can see like I actually just like cut the tips of them because they were way too long so I thought like oh I do almond shape in this length but I'm just like not feeling it I don't want to I don't feel like doing the French tip right now I want to go golfing again so all together I think um, this was really great it took me about a month to get to where I am today or like I would say a month and a half so just consistently like redoing my nails keeping them strong moisturizing my cuticles making sure they look nice and hydrated and just eating like veggies and really healthy foods to make sure that your nail is strong like they are still very strong this one's a little yeah they're very strong but I think right now I'm just at a point where I kind of like over it and yeah I'm doing a lot of writing on like my iPad and typing so kind of gets in the way but yeah i just wanted to share that before i cut them because i just love they're so pretty like you guys are probably going to be like jenny go to the nail salon right now and preserve your long nail but i really don't like feel like doing that right now and i don't know they're so pretty i might get them done for christmas though yeah but for now they're just be plain and boring hi guys happy tuesday so i'm actually going to go ship some stuff to jazzy and I also have to do a Lululemon return. Well, I think I'm gonna do an exchange. I want a puffer from Lululemon, so I'm gonna try to get that today and like do the exchange. I know the puffers are like, I think $200, so we'll see how much I have to pay afterwards. And then I also needed to get something printed out at UPS. I don't have a printer, so I'll go to like UPS to have them print it out for me and they're super kind about that. I have some things that I wanna show you guys that I just got in today and we might cook dinner. I'm not exact. I think I just want to make a chipotle bowl. It's super easy and doesn't require a lot of work. I have to make up my bed because I just took the sheets off to wash them. Just a lot of things like household chores and I also want to film today. So hopefully I can get that done before it starts getting dark. It's already 3.30. I finished work at 2. I, I couldn't fall asleep last night until like 4 in the morning, which was horrible. I'm really hoping that I can get some rest tonight because I do have an early workout tomorrow. But let's go ahead and get going because it's actually pretty late right now in the day and I want to get all of my stuff done before like people start getting off of work and they start occupying the space so I just want to make sure I get all of that done the family group chat is like so annoying <laughs> they always like message about anything and everything I mean like it's funny but like sometimes it's not funny because it's too much going on so that's the plan right now let's go ahead and head out um i put some sunscreen already don't forget your sunscreen before you leave the house my outfit is pretty boring um i just have on this little shrug and then just a tank top from maritzia it's from best sunday i haven't filmed in forever it's so weird but anyway can't wait to show you guys what i got when i get back and let's go run some errands <laughs> So 
so I just got back from running some errands. I also went to Whole Foods and I sent some stuff out to Jazzy. It's like the milk makeup. And then I also got makeup sent from like another company. So I just went ahead and gave that to her because I wasn't going to use any of it. I just want to show you guys what I got from Ulta and then also an Amazon package that I'm so, so excited about. I've been like thinking about this for like quite some time. But anyway, I got these exfoliating gloves. These are actually not the ones that I wanted. I think the ones that I really like are from Eco Tools, but I haven't been able to find them again. So I'm probably going to go to Target tomorrow because I do have to pick up some trash bags as well and like just little things for Luna. So I purchased these. They're nice like exfoliating gloves, but I feel like they're not as like rough as I would want them to be. Or maybe they just changed the packaging. I have no idea, but I need to like go through a few gloves to like test them out to see which ones are my favorite again because I literally don't remember the brand, but I think it's from Eco Tools. But then when I purchased some from Eco Tools, they were like too soft, like the last time. So I don't know what's going on with that. Sorry, it's like so hot right now. And then I also got the big bottle of the Discoloration Correcting Serum. I'm so excited to have the bigger bottle just because I use this every single day. And I don't know if you guys know, but like I used to have like really like dark spots on my cheeks and like around this area and they just went away. I'm pretty sure it's from this product and from using retinol. So Highly recommend to get into like a skincare routine. I also purchased some stuff from Korea, so that should be coming in soon. I don't think it's gonna be in this vlog just because I'm not sure like when it's supposed to ship out or what. I haven't gotten like a notification, but this has been so good at combating like dark spots on my face and even on my body. Luna had actually scratched me on top of my boob and I started using this on it and it is going away slowly. I also have the cream version of it, which I think is also really good, but I feel like this is just a little bit more potent. Yeah, but the ingredients are exactly the same, so pretty sure they work the same, but um, I think, I don't know, I just feel like this is a little bit more concentrated because it's a serum as opposed to like a body lotion. And then I went ahead and repurchased some sugar scrub. This is the Tree Hut Moroccan Rose. This is my favorite scent ever. It smells so yummy and delicious, so. The next item I'm super excited about because I've been wanting headphones for so, so long. I wanted new ones because I originally had the Beats headphones, but they didn't fit nicely. And obviously they're like really old. I think I've had them for like two or three years now. So I figured it was time to like just get something new. And I was debating between the Apple headphones. I mean, all of my products are Apple. But I was just kind of like unsure at the same time because I'd seen a lot of people say that the noise cancellation wasn't that great and noise cancellation is so important to me. And because I already have the AirPods Pro, I just figured maybe I can like skip out on getting the like AirPods Max. So I went ahead and purchased the Sony XM5 and they're pretty similar to AirPods Pro, I would say. Um, a lot of people said that it's not really necessary to like upgrade from the xm4 but that's the one that i did give jazzy for her birthday i just wanted something different especially if i went home i didn't want to get our headphones mixed up this is what they look like i cannot hear like anything like it's so crazy and it like sounds ah oh, the sound is so good it's been a while since i've had like really great headphones and especially to edit i'm super excited to have these i feel like they're just going to be so great and i i just really needed something that was going to push me to like continue creating content i just felt like i had like no inspiration i wasn't in the mood to film or to create content and so i feel like this is really giving me like the push that i needed and i also just want to focus on like my goals and my passions and i feel like youtube is definitely one of them it's like my favorite escape from reality even though i do put my reality like life on there so yeah i think it's just like really great to share that with you guys so i just figured i needed something to kind of put me back in the mood and this is definitely getting me super excited for that so yeah also um i showed you guys my nails earlier but i just ended up cutting them short i just really wanted them to be functional i wanted to golf again just a few things i wanted to get back into so for that reason, I just decided to go ahead and cut them. I know I always ask you guys for advice and then I don't take it, which is like so horrible, but I figured I would just go ahead and stick with my gut and just keep them short for a while. It takes me like a month to grow them out, so they'll grow out pretty fast if I wanted them long again, which is not a problem, but yeah, that's where we are, so sorry I didn't take the advice. And then um, I actually wanted to ask you guys because I wanted to get the Lululemon puffer vest, but I wanted to know whether or not you guys have like the Aritzia ones or Lululemon and which one you guys prefer. Lululemon is made out of polyester, which is not breathable, which is like ideal, I guess, for wintertime because you don't want the wind going through or anything. 
and you want to like stay warm but i feel like i don't know polyester is just like not a material that's like my favorite to be honest okay so that's pretty much all i'm going to make up my bed i need to put luna in the bathroom because if not she will be all over my bed i do have a dinner like every day for the rest of the week which is kind of crazy but i'm super excited and looking forward to them it's been such it's been such like an up and down like year for me i feel like and i figured i just want to do like what makes me happy and put my priorities first and tomorrow will be like a day outside of course because i do have things to do like i need to make an amazon return and then i also want to go to bianca's to go work a little bit and then maybe go to lululemon to check out the vest again because i feel like if i can't stop thinking about it. and i also want to ask my best friend like her opinion because i want to know like whether or not she wears the vest more if she wears like a puffer more really anticipating spending a lot of time in new york this winter maybe connecticut but definitely not new york and then if i am in connecticut i will probably buy a puffer to leave at my cousin's house so i'm just kind of like thinking of things and then i also need to start making christmas purchases which is you guys christmas is so soon okay i have i brought out my christmas scrub daddies okay i couldn't wait but i'm super excited for christmas and i want to start like making purchases here and there just like little things also gonna move my desk to the room so i can put up a christmas tree or at least have one this year and i'm really excited about that but i wonder if i can just like rent like lights and stuff or i just love christmas like i love it so much and i feel like last year i wasn't like super in the mood for christmas but i feel like this year i want to be in the mood i want to be and i need to start making purchases like soon yeah that's the plan i should make something to eat right now i had like rice with like teriyaki chicken earlier but i didn't show you guys because it was just like leftover panda i bought stuff to make like a salmon salad so i'm not really feeling too hungry right now to be honest that's what's going on today but yeah sorry i did not take you guys out today that much because i had things to do like on my computer i went to bed super late because i just like could not fall asleep and so let's go ahead and do that and organize some things i also want to order like organization stuff are under my sink because that's kind of driving me crazy Okay, so I'm watching The Inheritance and I'm just making a salmon bowl so it's literally all for dinner today. I'm gonna put this